and uh, uh, oh, there it is. The next part, of course, would be the grenades. Again, I've done it before, but I'll do it again. So it looks like that. There we go. And that's eight of these, which are now completed. Other parts that I will move on would be um, because in this part, in the next pages, it's asking you to build the um, bazooka. Now the bazooka has already been done. I'm not going to redo it again. I did trim, you know, paint the um, the, the side sensor on it. <clears throat> but the reason why I'm focusing now on this is because of the placement of the other weaponry. Now here's the grenade launcher. Um. Painting it normal, didn't give it extra any type of coloring. I should have painted the barrel, but I'll leave that alone for now. So this one's like this, and then supposedly I take this barrel, this bazooka, put this over here, like so. Then I take this part, I guess the long way facing down, like that. And then both of these go like this. One's over here. And then, bring that down a bit. And then the other one goes up like that. So it looks like this. And then finally, this part goes over here. Hold on. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. So this part goes in between here, between this, these two parts, which is some sort of friction that supports the grenade launch. So this is what it's supposed to look like after it's completely built. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's move on. Now the next part, of course, is the building of the shields. And uh, I need to let you guys know this part. Even though there are three of these parts, two of them. You see this slider right here, this in impression? The two of them have this, this, this all the way down to here. Excuse me, my cor correction, correction. One of them has a slider going all the way down to the bottom. Well, two of them, this one and the one that I've already pre-built, goes up to here. I guess uh, those two that has this is for the um, arms, and the the third one is for the back area. So let's prepare pair of this. Make sure that you put this part like this here. Push it in until it snaps into place. See? Now these two, I put them on, but you gotta put a lot of pressure on this, so don't assume it's gonna snap here. Snap it there. That's where you find it. This more is of a guide, but this is where it actually holds on to the part. If you have, if you believe that you're having some difficulties, uh, review the manual. And uh, worst case scenario, you may have to glue it. So fortunately, I haven't had that problem yet. So I'm going to put this part here and this part here. This one feels a little loose, but that's okay. And you take this and you put it right there. And you take this part. Find the holes right there, align it, and then push it in. So it's all the way in. And then flipping this over, you'll see the grooves right there. There's a notch here. So you just clip it into place. And there you go. So this is what the shield looks like when it's in its uh, eye field mode. Like that, and when it's done, 
close it up, seal it up. So it looks like that. All right, so all three shields are not done. As a matter of fact, I also forgot to mention that the shield comes with support pegs, which here's one of them, which of course I have to put on to them. All right, let's move on to the next part. So the next part of the build will be the beam javelin, or the, excuse me, the hyper beam javelin as it's referred to. And at this point I'm now using the last remaining uh, clear green parts for this kit. Um, we have this small part here that represents, I guess, a portion of the blade. Put these two together, like so. Make sure it's nice and snug. Once they're snugged in, then take this part, slide it in like that. Supposedly, Supposedly, even though I'm going to give it a little pressure, it's supposed to pop out, you see, pop out like that and that. Then, you take this part, put it in like this. Now we take this part, this part. Again, I should have reviewed a little bit more. Some of these parts could have easily been uh, painted together and not separate but we'll leave it the way it is for now. So, putting it like this, take this part, snap it into place like that. And we'll take this, clamp it up to here, if you can. See, some things could be a little loose, so be careful what you do. There we go. I may require... There we go. Then we take this, and put that here. So this part is done. Going over here with the other green part, Slide it down like this, so it's clamped into place, and then flip this around. Get these two done, like that. I've already pre-built this a while back by putting down this little uh, spear tip. Um, supposedly, you take this, oh, take this part, and you Stick it in there like that. This one will go here. Clamp it on. Feels like a reasonable, you know, switchblade. And then you want to put these two parts. This one here. And then finally, the remaining parts. Pretty much, you don't have any any position to put this in, but put that one there. some sort of um, unusual pistol grip that goes over here. That's it. So that's it. That completes the beam javelin. Um, I should open it up, but I'll leave that for later. Let's move on to the next part. So now we're at the final point of finishing up these parts, in which case it's these parts, which I guess supports the, um, the weaponry pack for the full armor. Uh, first up, of course, I did mention that I did assemble this first and painted it. And pulling these parts out and keeping it in this position, I take this and then I clamp it right there. Now before I, I guess, do what, do what I have to do with this, um, there's this part here which will require these two pieces um, please note, make sure that it's in this position for this part, which, I want to make sure that's right, yeah. 
So that one goes here. Again, I guess I haven't uh, looked at this properly where I had to... I should have actually assembled it first before painting, but that's all right. Yeah, that came out all right. And then putting this part in here and here. Put a inter some weird railing system type thing. So that's what it looks like. Then, I might as well get these. Where are they? It requires two of the Gatling guns. I got one here. Let me get the other one. You have the right orientation. No, that's. Yeah, okay, here we go. So, taking two of these Gatling guns, I supposedly have to put. Um, I guess. Hmm. Okay, now. I gotta do one here, which I guess it snaps onto this. Like so, and then the other one, like so, and there's some sort of wedgy thing that you have to hold these two down into place like that. Let me align up the orientation on this a bit more. There we go. So it looks like that. And there's some sort of support peg here that I guess locks these two down into place. Am I seeing this correctly? No, it's the other way around. So first things first, ugh, things start to come apart. Let's take these two out first, and take this one out. Damn, this thing went in really tight. Okay. So, um, let's unclip that. Then orientate this back again. I think, it, I think it's wrong, but I'll figure it out soon enough. Alright. So it has to be... Like that. It has to be like like that. So I kind of had it right. Oh, I see what it is. All right. Let's clamp those two on and then slide this into place. There we go. Then this one will clamp these two parts in. Over here. There we go. Now it makes sense. 